everybody. Welcome back to Nana's Nook. I'm glad you're here today. You know, all of us have all kinds of emotions. Sometimes we're happy. That's a great time. Sometimes we're sad. Sometimes we're angry, so angry. And sometimes we're surprised. We all have all these emotions. Well, today's book, recommended by Aurelia, is called The Wolf Who Learned Self-Control. And it was written by Oriane Lalamond and Eleanor Thulier. Let's start. The Wolf Learned Self-Control There once was a wolf who lived in a beautiful forest. His name was Wolf. He was a nice enough wolf, but he had a problem. No self-control. His moods changed constantly from happy to angry to sad and back again. When he was happy, he whistled and told jokes. He was full of fun. Joshua, let's go catch some butterflies. Hey, Louie, how about a cream puff? But when Wolf was upset, he would scowl and explode and his friends would run away. You must learn some self-control, said Mr. Owl. Your mood swings are making us dizzy. But why, asked Wolf. Because you're too excitable, explained Alex. Wouldn't you rather be cool, calm, and collected, asked Joshua. I know. We'll help you. Training begins tomorrow at my house. Wolf arrived right on time. Yoga is very soothing, Joshua explained. First, take a deep breath. <sighs> Let the calm flow in and your wild emotions flow out. Next, Joshua showed Wolf some yoga positions. Wolf tried to follow along. Wow, this is hard, but funny, thought Wolf. Laughing so hard, he fell over. Well, Joshua sighed, yoga isn't for everyone. Alfred was ready with Wolf's next lesson. There's nothing like a good run to blow off some steam, said Alfred, and I've set up a special one just for you. Ready? Alfred took off like a rocket. Wolf tried hard to keep up as they ran, jumped, crawled, and climbed. Follow me, Alfred cried, disappearing up a giant tree. <sighs> Breathing hard, Wolf reached the top, legs trembling and heart pounding. He looked down. Oh no, I'm afraid I'm going to fall, he cried. It's okay, Wolf, I'm here. Let's go down together, slowly, replied Alfred. Still shaking, Wolf took a deep breath and climbed down the tree. Congratulations, Wolf, you overcame your fear, crowed Alfred. Wolf smiled. He was proud. All this exercise has made me hungry, thought Wolf. I hope my lesson with Louie involves food. When Wolf walked into the kitchen, he found Louie and Wolfette giggling. Hmm... They look like they're having fun without me. Wolf felt a little jealous. Hello, Wolf, said Louie. We're going to bake cookies. A good baker must be patient and follow the recipe carefully. Should be good practice for you, Wolf, don't you think? Wolf had said with a giggle. Wolf's face turned red. Fine, make fun of me, Wolf exploded in anger. I don't care, and I certainly don't want to bake cookies with idiots like you. Wolf, what's wrong, sighed a stunned Wolfette. But Wolf had already stormed off, grumbling. After a while, Wolf slowed his pace. His heart felt heavy, and a single tear rolled down his cheek. Why did I get so upset? I'm the idiot. Wolfette will never forgive me. I'm so sad. What's the matter, Wolf? Why are you crying? asked his friend, Miss Yeti. Crying harder now, Wolf told Miss Yeti what had happened. She hugged him and said, Don't fret. What's done is done. 
Go find them and apologize. You'll feel better. But what if they won't forgive me? Wolf worried. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, she answered. Now get going. His head bowed in shame. Wolf slowly approached Louis and Wolfette. Please forgive me. I wasn't thinking straight and I certainly wasn't very nice. Apology accepted, smiled Wolfette. Wolf and Wolfette held hands as they gazed into each other's eyes. <gasps> Love, whispered Louis. The cookies are done, my friends. Let's eat. Wolf clapped his hands. He felt lighter than air. I'm working with Alex today, thought Wolf. I wonder what he has planned. When Wolf arrived, he was amazed by the beautiful cabin standing there. I built it yesterday, explained Alex. Now it's your turn to create a cabin. Wolf quickly gathered his building materials. He was excited to get started, and his cabin quickly grew. All I need is a door and my cabin will be complete, Wolf soon announced. Wolf put up the door, but it wouldn't stay in place. He pushed and pushed until, boom, his cabin collapsed. Wolf, you go too fast when you're excited, sighed Alex. You need to take your time and be more careful. Wolf's face got red and he started to stamp his foot when he remembered his yoga lesson. Wolf took a deep breath, then did a few yoga positions. It wasn't long before he began to calm down. The yoga was working. Wolf returned to his cabin. This time he worked slowly and carefully. When he was finished, he called to his friends, Look, it's done! Wow, exclaimed Alex, it's amazing! And you did it without getting upset. Bravo, said Mr. Owl. I would be honored if you would join me for a little celebration, Wolf said, smiling. Wolf's friends had just entered his charming cabin when it began to rain. This time, instead of getting upset, Wolf was as cool as a cucumber. No problem, he said. Just open the umbrellas. The room was instantly transformed into a giant rainbow. Wonderful, said Alex, clapping. Wolf, you're a lot nicer to be around now that you've learned self-control. Give it up for our friend, said Mr. Owl, leading them in a cheer. Hip, hip, hooray for Wolf. The end. I hope you enjoyed that book. I did about self-control and all of our emotions. Good choice, Aurelia. If anyone else wants to make a suggestion of what I should read at Nana's Nook, let me know and we'll check it out. Thanks for listening and watching. Bye-bye.